No, we're gonna take a look today at some shaving soaps from the house of Katie's Bubbles. There are a lot of people out there in the wet shaving community that think that this is the premier artisan shaving soap house. Now, the only real experience that I had uh, with this house is I bought Boucle a fruit, which you guys saw I did a video on. That's sort of the Fruit Loop uh, smelling fragrance. Right here is my jar. I've used this pretty, uh, pretty hardcore, really since around Christmas time, as you can see, hardly made a dent in it. So, uh, just goes to show you um, how much product you get and how long these will last you. Uh, really, really like that shaving soap. And as soon as I got it, within a week, it was my favorite shaving soup, soap of all time. Grand Cru by Tiki Soaps, which really, to me, smells like grape soda came along and for me that took the number one spot still love boucle uh chris cullen who is katie's bubbles and personally is katie's bubbles uh has just been a great guy to me you know i've emailed him we've we've talked he's always been just the real deal and he sent me some extremely large samples and their new packaging so first off let's take a look at the new packaging versus the old packaging so this is a tub of unjour Grease. We'll go through all the scents that he sent me in a little bit, but you can see the per labels are way more professional. Um, they talk about what the scent was inspired by, and what's really cool is the other ones say Katie's Bubbles. These have the name of the soap, so if you have them stacked up, um, you'll know which one you can grab. This wasn't the same thing uh, with the old soaps, and I believe these labels are uh, waterproof. Um, I could be wrong about that, but I've gotten them wet, and they've so far held up really well. So uh, that's sort of the new packaging um, of these new new Katie's Bubbles uh, soaps. Now, he also sent me four different soaps. Let's go over each one uh, briefly. The first one um, that I was crossing my fingers that he would send to me, because it's not a newer one, uh, is this one, which is called uh, Le Pomont de la Vie. Um, and the description is a sweet blend with the right touch of spice. Um, and this is without a doubt the most complex scented shaving soap I've ever smelled. I get pepper and nutmeg, clove and cinnamon, just gorgeously spiced. And this is the first one that I used and I got such a great, one of the best shaves I've ever got in my life from this soap. As you can see here, I've included some lather shots so you can see these are highly, highly concentrated you really don't need to load them the way you would with like a hard puck uh, just dipping uh, damp bristles into the soap will load your brush pretty nicely the second scent that he sent me is a newer one and it is called Celtic knot or Celtic knot um, as far as what oh, I'm sorry as far as what this one um, is meant to smell like a fresh walk in the Irish countryside so yes it's supposed to smell like green Irish tweed uh, by Creed now I like it personally best when these guys um or gals like amanda and doug and um and chris they do their own thing they freestyle and they make sense totally up um because just because you know i think they're such good uh perfumers and they're so good at blending um, oils that they don't really need to rely on um, making scents that are already popular but i will say this is really really close to green irish tweed Green Irish Tweed, Creed does sell a shaving soap for Green Irish Tweed, but it's like $100, so this is a nice way to get that shaving soap experience for a lot less money. The third one that he sent me was this guy, Un Jour Gris, a fresh, clean scent suited for a gray day, a green, uh, gray day. And this one's another gorgeously scented shaving soap. This one is about a very stout sandalwood and vetiver base. You've also got citrus at the top and some spices. Another one that's just wonderful. And the final one is called Roussi du Matin. Um, this one is inspired by Morning Dew. It says an effervescent blend of lemon and lime. Um, and to my nose, I'd say this is the least complex scent of the bunch. It's, it's really just a beautiful mix of lemon and lime. Very fresh and effervescent. Just gorgeous citrus in this one. Really refreshing. And I think that it will be a go-to for many men um, in the summer. I'll show you what these look like. You can see they're really soft uh, shaving soaps. And they lather 
just incredibly. These are all 20 bucks. And I want to make a point here because I know that there's debate in the shaving community about the quality of artisan soaps versus the three T's and the really expensive soaps, the Martin de Condra, the Expect, the Santa Maria Novella, the Aqua de Parma. So I need you to understand some things. First off, those soaps are expensive because they have to be. In the case of Santa Maria Novella and Aqua de Parma, they pay rent, marketing, salaries to employees, etc. In the United States, to get their product over here, their import cost tariffs. If Chris or Amanda had to send their soaps for distribution to Europe, they would not be $20. My guess is that they'd be closer to $40 or $50. And my point is that you are getting exceptional deals when you purchase soaps directly from the sites. That's why they're able to keep prices down. What I'm doing here right now is the most advertising you'll see usually from these these um, artisan shaving houses and that just costs them a bit of product. Also, the truth is you're just not gonna get better shaves with more expensive soaps. It doesn't work that way. Um, they might use pricier essential oils, that's possible. Um, I don't think too many brands, period, are making soaps better than Chris, but it just doesn't equal a better product when it comes to shaving soaps. It does with brushes, it does with razors, fragrances sometimes it does, wristwatches, absolutely, suits almost always. Uh, but I've used the most expensive shaving soaps in the world. Uh, I sold my x -Pack. I thought Martin DeConjure was, was very good, but these are as good for me. Uh, right now, P Piment uh, V is my favorite shaving soap. Grand Cru is two, uh, Boucle is three, Carnaby by Strap Shop is four, and Taylor's Grapefruit is five. I'll do a full video at some point, like an official top five, but guys, go to Katie's Bubbles, try these soaps. These are the best out there, they're $20. One jar should last you six months would be my guess. They're just really enhanced the experience and Chris just keeps putting out exceptional soaps. So that has been my um, quick uh, little take on these uh, Katie's Bell soaps. If you have any question about these, please feel free to me reach out and um, I'll see you guys this week with more videos. I'm linking to Katie's Bubbles in the description. You know what it is guys, my name is Maximilian and I must know. Oh,